And since all of you guys are home today, I am making your spelling test video. <laughs> so your spelling test, it should be pretty simple because you can't have help on it. Now, there are some times where you're like, man, I don't know how to spell this word. You just have to do the best you can. Sound it out in your head. Remember the strategies like chunking that your teacher has taught you. And again, do your very best. Our rule this week was close syllables with a VCCV pattern, which is vowel, consonant, consonant, vowel pattern. And also we have some review words from last week that you've already learned how to spell. Some high frequency words and I also have four surprise words for you. All right, I hope everybody's having a great day. Go ahead, number your paper one through 20. Put spelling test number 20 as the title on your paper and let's get started. Okay, I know that you probably haven't taken a spelling test from home, but as you watch my video, I am going to say the word once, say it in a sentence and say the word again. I'll pause for like a couple seconds and then I'll move on. If I'm going too fast for you, just click the pause button on the video until you're ready to move on. That is no problem at all. And then by the end of the test, you should be done with your spelling test and you should be able to turn it in. Again, one more time, since this is a spelling test, you cannot have help on it. So that means no spelling list can be out on your desk. You cannot use your iPad. You cannot use a friend, a sibling, or a parent. You have to do it all by yourself. Okay, let's get started. Number one is collect. I will collect all of your spelling test at the end of this time. Collect. Number two, support. The legs on this table support it. Support. Number three, attend. I attend dance class on the weekends. Attend. Number four, ladder. I climbed a ladder to reach my roof. Ladder. Remember, I do go pretty fast on these spelling tests. So all you have to do is click the pause button if you would like me to slow down. Click the pause button and then you could finish or you can hurry up or you can rewind whatever you need to do. Let's keep going. Number five, letter. I sent a letter to my pen pal. Letter. Number six is lumber. My dad bought lumber to build our back porch. Lumber. Number seven is plastic. My water bottle is made of plastic. Plastic. Number eight is Canyon. I would love to go see the Grand Canyon. Canyon. Number nine is Matter. As a matter of fact, I love reading. Matter. Number 10, Structure. Can you tell me what the text structure of that nonfiction passage is? Structure. Number 11, cheerful. It is such a cheerful day outside. Cheerful. Number 12, penniless. Penniless. I am currently penniless. Number 13, Endless. This day is endless. Endless. Number 14, statement. I just received my account statement. Statement. Number 15 is always. I always turn my work in on time and complete the first time. Always. Number 16 is asked. I asked my teacher if I could go to recess early. Asked. Okay guys, now it's time for your four surprise words. So remember, you can't have help from a friend, a parent, your iPad, or your spelling list, even though your spelling list probably won't help you because these are a surprise. 
Are y'all ready? I am. Number 17 is traffic. My mom hates it when we get stuck in traffic. Traffic. Number 18 is pepper. I love putting pepper on all of my food. Pepper. Number 19 is perfect. It is the perfect day. Perfect. And last but certainly not least is picture. Please draw a picture of your favorite movie. Picture. All right, so you should be done. There should be 20 words on your paper and your title should say spelling test number 20. Okay guys, all you gotta do now is take a picture of your spelling test and turn it into Canvas. There should be an assignment. This is spelling test number 20. Turn it in right there. All right, I love each and every one of you and I cannot wait to see you back here on Monday. Have a happy Friday.